Hello YouTube, hello Internet, it's Irix Guy here. I uh, just want to talk about an unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable Apple Store experience. So, like many other people, you know, I, I didn't camp out or anything. I went into Apple Store, like the end of the day, and I said, hey, I said, y'all still have the iPhone 5. I thought they'd be sold out. And they said, actually, we do have it, but we've only got the 16 gig version. Well, that was great, because that's all I wanted was a small one. And they said, now, we don't have the iPhone white 16 gig. We got the iPhone black. Do you want a ticket? Do you want to wait? Yes, I did. So I waited 45 minutes. I got to their uh, their Genius Bar, where you know the IQ of the people at that Genius Bar was definitely questionable. As I got up there and everything was good to go, you know, hey, congratulations on your new iPhone 5. And they didn't really know what was going on, so. I said, well, before I buy this, you know, let me log into Apple.com and cancel my uh, cancel my pre-order. And keep in mind, I'd done the same thing with an iPad because I had ordered one uh, on the internet, and then I was in the store, and I canceled my iPad online order and got it in the store instead, no problem. But when I logged into Apple Store and hit cancel, the status said preparing to ship. It didn't say it is ship. It said preparing to ship. And then it said, uh, you can't cancel through the website. You can call this customer service number, and you may be able to cancel. Well, of course, the customer service number was busy because of a flood of requests about iPhone 5. But anyway, just wanted to share this because I thought it was poorly managed. I mean, sure, bad. I'm complaining about getting a new phone, but I've had my broken iPhone 4 going on about six, eight months now. Power button doesn't work. It's got water in it. Need to get rid of the thing. And I was about to get rid of it, and now i got to wait another two weeks or whatever for the shipment to come in the mail. So it's pretty upsetting. I wish that Apple had a better way to cancel their orders, considering they had not shipped. It said preparing to ship. Well, you know, I said, well, what other solutions can you offer? Can, you, uh, can I just ship that one back when I get it? And they rambled on and said, oh, no, this is already locked in with your with your special AT&T agreement where you get the special uh, after two year renewal price and if we do it this way it'd be full price. Said, There's no way I'm paying full price. I said you're crazy. You're not a genius. You're crazy. And anyway, so I walked out of there and didn't get my iPhone 5 and uh, pretty upset about the whole situation but I mean I'm, that's, how, that's how Apple has people on the hook even though I had that horrible customer service experience. I'm still addicted to their equipment, so I'm still looking forward to getting my iPhone 5 from the mailman instead of the Apple Store. But anyway, it's frustrating. But you know what can one do? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube too. It's YouTube.com/forward/slash/IrixGuy. Y'all have a good day.